Hello everyone. So, I do have a question for you guys, and if you know the answer, please let me know what it is to my question. Anyway, here's the question. How many of you guys remember the original Silent Hill game? The original Silent Hill game, which came out on the PS1 here in the States in on January 31st, 1999, I think it, I think was the release date. I think. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Okay, for those of you who know, for those of you who remember that game, I think you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, here's my question, okay? Okay, who remembers who the protagonist of that game was? Now, I'm going to give you guys a multiple choice, okay? And you can put your answer in the, co in the comments down below, okay? Anyway, here's the question. Who was the protagonist of Silent Hill 1? Was it A, James Sunderland, B, Gary Mason, or C, there was no protagonist? Depending on your answer, that's fine. Now, here's the question. Why was the main protagonist even needed in this game? No, seriously. Why? That's my question here. Why was the main protagonist even needed? I mean, why was the main character even needed? Think about it. Guy goes to guy goes to retort resort town Silent Hill. And he's looking for someone. Wait. This sounds this is all starting to sound familiar, doesn't it? The more you think about it. Wait, is it possible the first and second game are somehow connected? I guess I never really thought about that, you guys. But anyway, anyway. Depending on what your answer was to that question I asked earlier, which was, who was the protagonist of Silent Hill 1? Was it A, James Sunderland, B, Harry Mason, or C, there was no protagonist? There was no B character. Depending on your answer, I think you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. Okay. Now. Why was the main character even needed if the main character didn't do anything, like, say, wrong? I only ask this question based on this information that I that I probably know, or maybe you guys know, and, and I probably and I've probably heard it so many times that I memorized it. I don't know. Anyway, here it is. You know how the main character in the Silent Hill games is usually called to the town because of something they did, something that, something they did in their past, and now it's causing, now it's causing a problem in, in the present? I only ask this question because, what did Harry actually, sorry, what did the main character in Silent Hill 1 do? Sorry if you caught me saying kind of his name. <laughs> Sorry about that. What did the main character actually do to be called to the town of Silent Hill? And I say nothing. He didn't do a darn thing. Now, okay, you could probably make the argument that maybe his, uh, maybe his wife, you know, passed away of, like, maybe natural causes, but, you know, that's different. Anyway, I only bring this up because that question has been really kind of plaguing my mind some lately. Based on, like, the fact that, you know, you know, the, the protect, the person, the character you play as in, in the Silent Hill games is usually called there for a reason. What did the main what did the main character of Silent Hill One get called there for? 
There's no reason. No, seriously. Think about it. Main character gets called there because of what? Okay, main character gets called to the town because of what? Seriously, what what was the reason for him actually being there? There's no reason for him to be there at all. Yes, I know what some of you are probably going to say. Oh, it's to save, it's to basically save his kidnapped daughter or his daughter that's, that's, you know, trapped there. I get, I get that part. I get that. But usually, usually the character you play as, you know, has done something wrong in their past. That's why I that's why I wonder what did the main character of Silent Hill One actually do to deserve to be called there? <sighs> no, that really is the question here. What did the main character actually do to warrant being called to the town of Silent Hill in, in the first game? Nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, did he, like, did he do something wrong? Did he do something that he probably, probably regrets? Or is there really no reason at all? That's what I'd love to know. If you guys know the reason why this is, please let me know, because I do not know why. I do not see any reason... For the main character of the first game to even be there. And yes, I know what some of you are probably going to say. Probably put in the comments down below. It's because he's there to save his kidnapped daughter. I, I get that part. I get that. That I understand. That's noble. But. Why is he there? And what I mean is. Again, I'll say it again. Usually the main character is called there because of something they did in their past. Which is having adverse effects on their present and maybe their future. You get it guys? See? It's confusing, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Again. What did the main character in Silent Hill 1 actually do to warrant being called to the town in the first game. Hmm? If you guys know. Let me know. Because I don't have a clue. So yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video. And I hope you did. And if you guys you know, have any suggestions. For topics you might want, you might want me to talk about. In the future. Um, like the video. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if there's, and if there's a topic you want me to. Topic you want me to talk about. Or or a trail or a game trailer you want me to react to, just leave it in the comments down below. And I'll get to your request just as soon as I can. And share this video around for those for those in need. And for those who for those who have, those who want to see this video, and that is cool. And my friends, do not forget to subscribe for more of me and videos like this and others on the channel you shall see. And until next time, my friends, later, fam, slot.